In the face of a series of scandals, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is fighting for his premiership. As Johnson seeks to reset Downing Street functioning, four of Boris Johnson's closest aides have resigned. But the biggest setback came from Johnson's ally of 14 years, Munira Mirza. The key aide left her position following British Prime Minister's attack on Keir Starmer. Earlier this week, Johnson said in, a parliament that, in Parliament that Keir Starmer was responsible for failing to prosecute the late TV and radio host Jimmy Saville. Jimmy was one of Britain's worst sex offenders. Saville was found to have abused hundreds of victims, but he was never prosecuted. Johnson has declined to apologize, but he tried to roll back on his comments. The claim angered not only opponents, but also some within his own party. Chief policy aide Munira Mirza quit in protest of Johnson's Jimmy Savile claim. The head of policy had worked with Johnson for 14 years. Mirza started working with Johnson since he was the mayor of London. She was reported saying the Prime Minister's refusal to apologize for his remarks had left her with no choice but to quit. Johnson said he was sorry to lose Mirza, but he rejected her assessment that his comments were inappropriate. The remarks also provoked criticism from Finance Minister Rishi Sunak. Distancing himself from the comments, Sunak said he wouldn't have made that false claim. Sunak is considered a leading contender to replace Johnson. And with regard to the news about Manira, the first thing to say is you know, she was a valued colleague. I very much enjoyed working with her and I'm sorry to see her leave government. I'll miss working with her uh, and with regard to the comments uh, in you know being being honest i wouldn't have said it and i'm glad that the prime minister clarified what he meant johnson's leadership is facing a growing crisis after reports revealed alcohol fueled parties during covid lockdowns angry lawmakers in his own conservative party have demanded an overhaul of downing street operations while some even calling for johnson's resignation Three of his other top aides have also resigned. The lawmakers who quit were Chief of Staff Dan Rosenfield, Principal Private Secretary Martin Reynolds, and Director of Communications Jack Doyle. The three were directly linked to the gatherings. Reynolds was reported to have sent an email asking attendees to bring your own booze to one of the parties. Amid a series of scandals and gaffes, Johnson's personal ratings has also plummeted and his party has fallen well behind Labour in opinion polls. A report by a senior civil servant, Sue Gray, condemned Johnson for serious failures of leadership. Johnson pledged to change his leadership style after the report. It remains to be seen whether the exit by Johnson's top team will be enough to settle the crisis. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.